Okay, so I've been in the game for about two, two and a half years now. And I was with Sugar Goo the whole time, but something happened with my account and I don't have it no more. And that's where all the links were. But now I'm with Panda Buy, so all my newer items I do got links for. Just a heads up. Alright, so this is my supreme part of the collection. This I probably bought like about a year ago. The quality isn't bad. I remember it being like $12. And this one was, I think, like $8. But the quality is horrendous. Like, I don't think I've ever worn this once. So the print isn't even that bad. But the tag and the blank is just like terrible. Really uncomfortable. And then this is like, it's like really like breathable. I bought this one like three months ago. The print's nice. The tag is really nice. And then in the back, it says... In our profession, we shouldn't trust anyone. Then I have this one. Don't touch my shit. The print's really nice. I'm pretty sure this is like 2006 vintage release. The tag is, in, is pretty bad, but like the print and the blank is nice. It was only like $3. And then I have the same shirt, but in, in black. But this one was like $9. The other one was like $20. And it says the same thing on the back. It's already cracking a little. And then I have this same shirt. And then this one, this shirt's absolutely horrendous. Like the tag is bad. The print is terrible. The blank is terrible. This zip up hoodie, which honestly isn't that bad quality. I think it was like $9 for this hoodie. Nice zipper, sounds nice. It's pretty thin. Can't complain for like nine dollars and then this one i go more into detail in my recent haul i actually wanted to go more into detail on this hoodie this hoodie is actually um i'm pretty sure the print says america runs on illegal business and like the tags they're terrible like i mean like i'm like look how it came this is how it came it was like stitched like that and in canada and then it has a little side tag like every supreme hoodie Terrible, but it's nine dollars. Never gotten a call out of this thing. Let me show you how zipped up so y'all can see like how it lines up. Doesn't line up well, but no one can tell. All right, this is my Eric Emanuel collection. I think it's about like nine shorts, and I actually caught these about I'm not sure like six months ago. These. Mm, like five three months ago they're like mad comfortable mad breathable they are short though like really short and these i cop them the same time as those brown ones and these also the same time and these are actually more recent i'm pretty sure like three months ago three months ago and then also about six months ago i'm pretty sure and this is like the eric amanda collection i actually don't really like these that much the Baypex eric Emanuel collab uh you'll see why i caught them in a bit all right these are mostly items from my latest haul the one that i posted i got the set of these <laughs> And then I got the set of this tag, and then I got the set of this tag. But let me show you the tees. So I got this like vintage stone cold tee. And then I got in the back. I buy it back. This Stussy tee, got this about a year ago. It's just a simple like little logo. The tag's good. The blank's good quality. It just has like zero stretch. Look, I don't know what this is. I think it's the, I, I really don't know what it is. And I got the same T but black. And I got this like V-Long. Y'all know what's on the back of this. Y'all know what's on the back of this. And then I got this V-Long. 
This is pretty bad quality, I'm not even gonna lie, but the design's cool. I don't think I've worn either of those V-Lone tees like more than twice out of a whole year I've owned them. All right, and these are more like, I guess, miscellaneous, but I love like each of these pieces equally. Probably like the next one is my favorite. This one's really nice. I remember it being like $25. I bought this about 10 months ago. This one, uh, it was in the same haul. Everything from like the stitching to how soft it is. And then like this zipper sounds mad nice. Look at that. Then the embroidery, the whole hoodie. This is just a really nice, this is probably my favorite out of the three right now. And then this shirt, this shirt goes pretty hard. I anyway, gonna hold it, this shirt goes hard. Look at the back, it's like, it's like the back of his head. Goes hard. All right, so I guess these next two are more of like special mentions. This is a full zip Bapesta hoodie, the only Bape item I actually own. Look at the inside. I'm not sure how close to retail this is, but the tag, I'm pretty sure isn't that bad. And look at the inside tags. Before I show you all the inside tags, look at this. This actually is not bad. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure Babesta is Japanese. I'm actually not too sure on that, don't. Don't take my word for it. This is more of a preview to next video. A lot more vintage tees. And this one just goes like, hard like the print is so nice the blank is like crazy nice and this is actually my favorite shirt because of the back i think the graphic on both sides just goes hard and the blank is soft and thick all right then i got these two designer pieces louis vuitton these are legit perfect this one's uh like reversible and this i think is the louis vuitton signature belt just like perfect. Had these for, I mean, maybe like two years. They're still good. I use them a lot. Most of these shirts are from the same seller, besides the Nike and ASAP Rocky ones. So if you got questions on the Nike and ASAP Rocky ones, I can't really help you. A lot of these shoes I sadly don't got links for either there on my old sugar goo account. I'm a panda by now. Alright, so this one, I'm not really sure what this one is. Nah, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I could people this on. This one's also vintage. And this like vintage apple tea. The thing about these uh, the seller the sells these the print is like amazing screen print. Like it also like fades kind of like the first time you wash it, and it just looks like actually like vintage. And the blanks are like so soft and thick and they're like, they're pretty heavy too. And this vintage Michael Myers tee. This Metallica tee. These are like all from the same seller. This is Beavis and Butthead team. And Thief has a back design. This Misfits team. I actually really like this one. 
Amazon. This Metallica tee is also pretty cool. I just wish the the graphic was was bigger. Taxi driver, the movie team. Oh, this one's hard. This Pink Floyd team from a tour, I think. Really old, but it's vintage. Look at that bag design. This one, I like this too. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead, Tommy Hill figure bootleg. <laughs> and this is probably my favorite blank that I own, keep that collar. And it's like just as thick and soft as the other ones. Hey, this shirt goes pretty hard. And then this one, I like this shirt a lot. I like this shirt a lot. This shirt's okay. It's like really really soft but the graphics kind of like i don't know i don't really like this one that much this hard rock cafe with like the city skyline dubai this sublime tea this one goes pretty hard you don't see a lot of people wearing sublime Jimi Hendrix tea. I really like this one too. Look at the bag design. Our Jordan 1 Blue Chills. These, all the shoes I'm about to show y'all are beat to like practically almost death. Like, barely alive, barely breathing. And these are the ones I was wearing earlier. I actually skate these, so they're a little fucked up. These are also, these honestly aren't that beat. They're pretty bad. Oh, I also skate these. I'm not gonna have the link for these, but these were like 36. And then these core purple dunks. I got these from a middleman. Just hit me up if you want his number. Then these are just beat to hell and back. Like, oh my God. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but These are like barely worn. They don't really fit me. These were like 50, I think. These were just in my haul video. Favorite Jordan of all time. So clean, I probably worn these like four times. Michigan State Green Dunks. This 
some Yeezy slides, bone. Core Purple Jordan 1s, these are also pretty beat. These are LJR, I'm pretty sure. Got them for like 90, I don't remember. Oh no, these are SK, these are SK. Had these for about a year. And then these black easy slides from my recent haul. And I wanted to show these as like honorable mentions. This is like honestly pretty bad quality. It's not as good as the gray one. This is pretty heavy though. This is like 50, I think. Same price as the gray one. And then this Supreme tee, the water gun tee. The, it lasted about a year till it started cracking. I don't know if you could tell that well on camera. Actually, if you probably can. The blank is actually really nice though. I'll save these for last. These are an honorable mention though. Clean as fuck. 